So I'm in my room. This is my first time filming in my new room since I have moved. And I apologize that I haven't been filming in my room, but I'll start doing it again because things are kind of coming together, but not really. Okay. But I wanted to film a tutorial using uh, the new products from Urban Decay in collaboration with Jean-Michel Basquiat. I have to say it slow or I butcher his name. If you don't know who he is, he's an artist. Little background. He was a, um, a graffiti artist, painting and selling his artwork. He's very non-traditional with like his colors and his style, obviously. He's always uh, like challenged the status quo and he was always challenging, you know, the government, the rich white man, all that great stuff that I fully support. I love this collaboration. For one, I just like the fact that Urban Decay partnered with an artist. It's really inspiring, especially if you know, you're an artist yourself. It's nice to see a collaboration other than an A-list celebrity or an influencer. Like no offense to, I like I fully support both of those, but it's just refreshing that Urban Decay kind of just went in a different direction with this collaboration than most brands. And I really admire that they did something so bold. Please ignore my nails. I toned my hair and the toner turned my nails purple. I know some people get offended when your nails are not done because it seems to affect their life in a major way. All right, so let's get into the tutorial now. There are flies everywhere because I have the door open just to get some fresh air in here and like they're driving me insane. I'm gonna prep my skin first. So I'm using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. Just gonna tap this on around my eyes. This will prevent dehydration from, oh my God, now more flies are coming in. This will, okay, I should just shut the door. Like, fuck these flies. <sighs> okay. So the Bobbi Brown eye cream helps with dehydration, prevent, preventing the under eye from creasing. I'm just looking dry. I'm gonna use my Pixie Skin Treats Glotion Day Dew. I really like this one because it gives you a luminosity and just makes your skin nice and smooth and hydrated. If you're oily, you probably wouldn't want this one. You'd want like, they have a gel moisturizer. That one works really well. I think I'm gonna start with my eyes. So I'm taking my MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. So I'm taking the green eyeliner. This one's called Post Punk to just do a thick line all over my lid. And then wing it out. You know I like my thick winged out looks. So this is just creating a base. So when I put the eyeshadow on top of it, it will really pop. If you don't have a green liner, you could always do a white or a nude. Something just to kind of give the eyeshadow to stick to and intensify the color. And doing your eyes first makes it easier when you wing out your eyeshadow because you can clean it up easily with makeup remover or even your concealer. So I'm just kind of going for it, winging it out. And I'm gonna use this palette right here. And I'm gonna use this shade, it's like a rusty brown. It's called Not For Sale. And I'm going to come right like on my crease. I'm so shaky, I had too much coffee. Boom, come on. So I'm outlining the wing. It's okay if you mess up, like I did right here. You can get a little bit of concealer, foundation, eyeshadow primer whatever you have and clean it up and I'll show you in a minute. So don't stress on it. So I'm gonna take a small concealer brush. Like I have this one right here. It's got some product on it from who knows when. And I'm gonna take my eyeshadow primer. Just come right on the edge to clean this up. Uh, like that, yes. They're doing construction outside, if you're wondering. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to this palette and I'm taking my Urban Decay Medium Shadow Brush with this color right here. I'm gonna press it right on top of the green liner. So I'm just using a makeup remover and sharpening the edge. Boom and boom. And then picking up the green under my eyes. I like shellacked the top of my hair down 
because I have so many flyaways and I don't know how to get this part to stay down. I use so many products and now it just looks like a crusty mess. I'm sure someone out there knows of a great product that will hold my flyaways down, but like super glue them down because I have, I have a lot of breakage. So I need something like strong that will hold everything down. Okay, back to the tutorial. <laughs> Let me know though, let me know. Okay, so let's go into the foundation. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I really have been liking this one. I mean, I've used it for like a week straight. It's alcohol-free, oil-free. I bet you it's just water and it's like all in our head that it's something special. I'm just kidding. Wouldn't that be funny though, if they're just bottling water and selling it to us? It's like Fight Club. <laughs> but in the makeup scene shellac my hair out of the way let's do the urban decay naked skin foundation i used to love this one and no this video is not sponsored by any way shape or form i just have a lot of urban decay products and if you go back to my old videos i've used urban decay freaking so much sorry about it 2.0 is the color the one thing I like about this foundation is that it is anti-aging. It has matrixol in it, which is an anti-aging ingredient that will help blur and soften the skin and prevent fine lines and wrinkles and boost elasticity. This is a crown brush, but it's for blush. I like it for foundation. And then I'm gonna take my Sigma sponge, push it into the skin, blend it, soften it. So I'm just adding another layer of foundation because I want more coverage. I wanna cake it today, you know? It's been a while since I've caked. It's been a while since I've caked. It sounds like a drug or something. So now I'm taking another Urban Decay product, sorry. Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil and it's in DOD. It's a deeper shade. I like it because it's waterproof, but it's great for contouring. Plus I like that it's a stick form. It makes it easier to contour like your nose. So I put it underneath my cheekbone, along my jawline, under my lip sides of my nose, along my forehead. Then I'm just gonna take my same foundation brush, buff it in. I still love and use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's so bomb. It just works for me, I love it. Go on the sides of my nose, under my eyes. Middle of my forehead. Around my mouth. I'm really caking it today, you don't have to do all this. It's just been a while since I've really caked it on and I wanna do it. I'm taking a paper towel and just wiping down my brush to get off the bronzer shade because I wanna use this to blend out my highlight. I love this brush. So I'm just dabbing it into the skin because I don't want to move anything. And then under my eyes, I'm going to switch like the sponge and just make sure it's all blended. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the concealer under my eyes. I have that hyperpigmentation over here. So I like to just kind of make sure that's covered. It's one thing I like to make sure it's covered. To set my under eyes, I'm using my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and a powder puff. I'm setting everywhere I pretty much put that concealer. Now I'm going to use the new Benefit Hula Light. If you have light to medium skin and you feel like Hula is too dark, you need this. It's so good. Hula, the original, it was pretty, I really liked it, but sometimes it could just get so dark on me because I'm fair to light. So this one is like a little bit lighter and it smells like cologne. So, ah, oh, it smells so good. Oh, what they put in it. Which reminds me, someone told me in one of my videos that I'm not light skinned. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. I think on camera I don't look white because I wear such a dark foundation. But people tell me on the regular how white I am. I'm not kidding. I had this lady, she was doing my nails and she was like, red would look so nice on you because you're so white. So it makes the red pop. I was like, thanks. It's true though. Girl, I'm very fair. But if I go outside, I can tan really easily. I just don't go outside. 
Oh, you know what? I should have used the palette. Damn it, my bad. So it does come with this shade. It's called Jawbone. I feel like it's, it's very deep. So if I tan, I feel like it would be really pretty, but as a contour, it's really dark. I mean, just the lightest touch. Gotta be careful with it. The first time I used this, I was like, ew. My face looks so tan. I do like a darker contour along my jawline though, because I feel like it hides my double chin better. Shadow that double chin. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my eyes. I'm going back with the eyeliner. I'm gonna come along my lower lash line and my waterline. Same thing, I'm gonna take the green eyeshadow and just go right over the liner. Then I'm gonna go back with my Smith Cosmetics brush and this one called Not For Sale. My inner lower tear duct area, about halfway over. So there's no like real highlight color, like a pop of a light iridescent color. There's this one in here. You know, it's not popping, popping. So I'm gonna grab the Kat Von D shade and, not shade and light, whoa. Kat Von D Alchemist palette. Huh, I was thinking about doing the green, but now it might be fun to, let's do the pink opal. And I'm gonna come right in my tear duct. So I'm coming in my tear duct right underneath that line I did of the brown, but I don't know if I like the pink. I might actually just grab that green, the green emerald. I mean, the pink is pretty. It just doesn't look good over that green. Oh, that's better. Ooh. Now let's do a coat of mascara. I really like this one. It's the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. So I'm gonna do a coat of mascara top and bottom. I'm gonna turn off my camera just to save the battery, but top and bottom, okay? Be good. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this guy with a blush brush. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this mixed with this blush. This highlight is not my favorite on me. Like it comes out pretty dark. So I'm going to use a different highlight. I'm gonna Natasha Denona Glow. And this is in the number one light. Just add a little bit of a glow. I'm putting on these lashes by Red Cherry. I'll have the number of them in the description box below. I don't keep my lashes in the boxes. That's why I never have the numbers. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to use OCC Lip Liner, and this is in Lydia. So I just fill in my whole lips, but leaving the middle part open. because so I wanna take Abstract, which is a nude shade, and pop it right on the middle. And then lastly, I'm gonna spray my face with a setting spray. This is, it's the uh, MAC Fix Plus. I just mixed in some Laura Mercier Starlight Powder. This is so old, it's probably, yeah, it's way expired. I think when I first started working at Sephora, I got this. <laughs> but I wanted my uh, setting spray to give me a little bit of a glow, so I just dumped that in here. And there you go, this is the finished look. Look how pretty my skin looks. I really like this eyeshadow. It's definitely different, but you know what? Here's the thing. It's just makeup. It washes off. So don't be afraid to just like sit down and play and have some fun. I hope this inspires you just to do something a little different. Use different colors, make it into your own look. There's so much you can do, uh, but this is just a little, a little something something. I hope you have a really good day today. You make good choices. I'll see you guys later. Bye.